General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have him watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. I'm quite busy right now. Perhaps later we could talk. A lot of credits to be made around here lately, if you have the right skills. Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a Starport visa. If I were you, I'd leave before too many more beast cages are stacked in the streets. We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it? The punishment is death. Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. We need to get Dagon out of custody. 
Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The Colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for someone like him. I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing someone. He was one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing her. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, the command will cut him loose. If I say any more, I'll get in trouble. No way. We're under orders to make sure no one sees the murder suspects. Command is taking this very seriously. What else do you want to know about? Stay out of trouble. Captain, you're back. My husband. We have seen... I've told you our... My husband. He was part of the ISIS Council. Over time. Look, please. Kawanabota <laughs> Mulibrava y berendía tía Wishnu nunca se. Tú, Nitsa. Da wancha more chiwa, mufala wa ni bo. Da hupa, bosa curata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wa jiaki, yuki to tune. Munga chinor, ta imbre wa na chiki. Drumba bambua. Conti chan munka, cavadumpa kuswaka tayamukata, kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura, tayaita ta bosananansata, da hupa bosa curata go jujutu yoki, hiata yamba wajiaki yuki totune, munga chino ta imbre wanachiki, drumba bambua, conti chan munka. Cavadumba kuswaka tayamukata. Dahupa bosa curata go jujut. Dovre. Do you have a visa yet? I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. 
Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going to say. Beast riders are nothing but barely tamed animals. Things are bad enough without their gangs. Good to see you again. Any luck with the visa? What do you want to know about that night? Dagon Ghent didn't do it. Because he was with me at the time. It's quite simple. Right now he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage, let's say, assisting a Republic spy, then the penalty for that is death. I'm afraid the Andoronians are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. I was with Dagon in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. We were taking great pains not to be seen, which has a certain irony to it, really. If you can free him, please do. He's been invaluable with his help to the Republic. I only wish there was something I could do to help him. Assuming we get Dagon free, we're going to have a few private words about this. Together, we fought against the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. I don't particularly like the idea that he's working for them now. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for bizarre. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up! They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. <laughs> they'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Sulio was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit. Their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. But the Andoran military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night. I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Pizat game when I heard a loud sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Salio was our friend. Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. We fought many soldiers in the Mandalorian Wars. The Andoronians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized and stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. <laughs> know him? He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor, but he is a great drinking companion. I'd much rather talk about... This room is reserved. Huh. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. Let's 
person on Jiri. Chabi, Regichis. Sukrema Sukunga Tungala. Merontono Junsara Garoto. Kroto. mentioned a droid. This droid was destroyed recently. Someone inside the cantina might know more. A lot of credits to be made around here lately, if you have the right skills. Da hupa, bossa curata, go jujuto yoki, hiata yamba wajiaki, yukito tune, unta chiwita inka. Da wancha mori chiwa, mufalawa ni bobo wish yot kuna sita, dorcho ni sobawata. Ichawa te crossi wish yot toda si, e krimba chok windindo. Do you have... I really can't... Good to see... What do you want to... Dig on... Welcome back... Fab... That would be Bohemia's SOD2... Uh, no... SOD3... Or is it two? Whichever one it was, he keeps losing them. I remember when I arrived, it was still smoldering. Who knows? Sometimes the slum dweller shoot his serving droids for fun. This part of the quarter is getting more and more lawless, I'm afraid. When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldiers, we had to chase off some scavengers that were stripping SOD3. No, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd growing. We were seeing if there was any way we could help Sullio. There was nothing we could do, of course. She was dead. Croton Orangama Boson Chinsun Mika Boson Minsukre Masukun Batungala Merontono Junsara Garoto Minsukun Rakawata Poendo Rakamana Sobu in Sucre Masukun Ratungala, Merontono Junsara Garoto, Minsukun Rakawata, Poendo Ratamana Sobu, Croton Oranga Manatandi Garoto, Mopi Una Wana Sijin Siwa no Bush. Welcome back. That would. Who knows? Sometimes the slum dweller shoot his serving droids for fun. 
When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldiers, we had to chase off some scavengers that were stripping at... No, I'm afraid... That one Da Rupa, Bossa, Curata, Go, Juju, Toyo, Honta, Tiwi. Some of those alien thugs had a go at you, right? I, um... Greetings, mask. Certainly. Eyes is... is one B. This room is... Huh. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. The waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid vendor called... 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. You might have even bought some. Unknown. I have many serving droid parts. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. Thank you for your business. Kiff and the cantina can probably do something with this. We should head back. Need some anti. Da want some more. Da hupa, bossa curata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki, yuki to tune. Kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bossa nan ansata. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. <laughs> Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosan ansata.
This room. <laughs> Back again, Offworlder? I'm sure you have a Starport visa. If I were you, I'd leave before too many more beast cages are stacked in the streets. Actually, ask around. Times are two. If you say anything bad, gladly. Stay out. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for Bazak. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulia, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Sulio called him were vile. Sulio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a manner. It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sulio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? Well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Gant. 
The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Ghent out right away. <laughs> the Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not gonna say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but... We all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out on my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. Wrong place, wrong time. Captain Sulio and I were acquaintances. I just happened to be too close when she got dead. Real shame. She wasn't bad to look at, and she could drink. No, and at this point, I don't care. Just glad to be free. She's dead now. Not like finding whoever did it will bring her back. I deal with death all the time. We all end up like her eventually. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's vault. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? Nobody knows for sure, but everybody thinks that General Vaku has to have something to do with it. They're keeping the attempts quiet, but that place is locked down tight. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a Master there, I think I know who it is. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure, and that holodisk has the procedure. The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted holodisc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. What's it to you? You? And just how do you intend to do that? It isn't for sale. I warned you, Offworlder. Kill him!
Puta con... And your thank the four moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you, but my children and I will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship. Thanks to the captain, we get. See you again. Really? I've been looking for one for weeks. Thanks. You've done a tremendous service for the Republic. Now I have to catch the first shuttle out of here. May the Force be with you. I wonder what his mission was. I think you may have helped the Republic considerably. To Tonkinge ba no jansaka ni karaska. Kavadumpa munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji uma.
found the encrypted holodisks yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contacts from the palace without it. Great going there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter, you best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. That clue is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar. The famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. I'm not sure how well placed your faith is. I feared you would harbor dark feelings because of our treatment of you. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of him! I won't let Kavar escape! It's gonna be tough to avoid hitting innocents in this crowded cantina. Tell Dagon Gen to get out of Isis fast. They'll figure out his connection to all this. Good luck. Seems 
looks like you take after me. You should leave the city. Tobin's boys are done. What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. 
Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. You know what to do. The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired? What the hell does that mean? You're cleared to go. Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. 
When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. anytime soon. General Vaklu has a great deal of power. Even a Jedi couldn't defeat an entire army alone. I hear you handled Isis adequately. Mandalore has left me in charge until he has finished his journey to reunite the clans. If there is any change planet side, I'll send you a message.
Our sensors picked up three ships landing in this area after the space battle. If any of the Onderon military come searching for those ships, we don't want them finding our base. I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land in any of the clearings along the path. Knowing some of the larger Duxon beasts, the crew's probably already dead. The people of Onderon still live in fear of us. They were the first world we conquered in the Mandalorian Wars. Their resistance was laughable. We cut through their defenses like vibral blades through cloth. Isis fell within hours. If they knew we were here, they would eventually gather enough courage to attack us. It is not a battle we wish to wage. Yet. That is how flesh and blood fights. Let me show you how one fights when one's life is the force. I won't let you harm him. I have heard of your kind. You worship strength, when all it does is rot you from within. You echo another's words, and as an echo it lacks strength. Who is it who has taught you of the Sith? I will not reveal my mistress, and I will not allow you to harm the one I travel with. I cannot harm him. His wound lies deeper than any blade could reach. That is why I follow him, and protect him. Protect him? I do not believe you. You do not believe that I would follow him to death? Certainly you have read as much in my movements, as I have in yours. There's no shame in your feelings, sister of the Achani. Be silent! You know nothing of what you speak. You are alone, and wounded in your own way. I can feel its pulse, like a heartbeat from the past. But if you will not believe that I mean him no harm, then believe this. I wish to learn from him. I wish to learn how it is he still walks, when his spirit is nothing more than a shell. When you feel as though the Force, as if life itself has abandoned you. I had a question for you, sister of the Achani. The Exile. What does he look like? Like a man, but it is more than that. And I do not have the words. He shows kindness, both small and great, to strangers. He does this without hesitation. He has accepted me, even though he and my mistress are not allies. All I know is he makes me doubt the words of my mistress, one whom I have pledged to serve. Such feelings are not unknown to me. And I fear such doubts. Could it be my mistress was wrong about him? That perhaps he did not seek to betray the Order? That perhaps my mistress felt as I did, and when he left the Order, she found that she doubted as well. There is a feeling that emanates from him, like, like a sound from far away that has traveled a vast distance to reach here. Like an echo. Your words are well chosen, sister of the Ichani. I will not harm him. But it is not me you should fear. There are darker things in the galaxy than a blind one such as I. Not since Malachor. It is always in my dreams. I remember the ships. Having you here has an effect on me, General. I never noticed it years ago. I think my mind was too occupied then. I feel calm, more in control. The anger is still there, but I can feel it drifting away. The last years of my life have been defined by it. The Mandalorians, Zerka, and Revan. And above all else, myself for Malachor. Never, General. It had to be done. My hands destroyed the Mandalorians. I cannot be forgiven for that. Even if I did it out of hatred of the Mandalorians?
That might be the truth, but I don't want to see it that way. I can't just ignore the blood on my hands. Even if there isn't, I still feel like I need to do something to make up for it. Under your guidance, I feel like I could overcome my anger. <laughs> 